Hi, welcome to Professor's Mailbag. Here we are again with questions that people either email me or wrote to me to ask some questions about the problems they had. If you have any, certainly email me or write me and ask me some questions and maybe I'll answer them in the next videos, but I sure will call you back and answer them either email or on the phone. Now let's see who we got here today. Well, it seems like we got Tommy from New York and Tommy has a question about is GPS module not responding. Tommy, let me tell you about the GPS module not responding. I have heard that a thousand times or more. What happens is you have a unit and you have a module or an antenna and you got wires in between. If you have the kind of antenna that requires to be powered, the first thing you check is to make sure the electricity bill is paid, to make sure that the fuse that's powering that antenna is not blown. If it's not blown, then it could be the wire from the antenna to the unit or from the unit to the antenna, which you have a combination of different types of connectors in there. If you got a little water in it, it's not going to work. So you have to check those to see if it's working or not. The last resort is if the antenna is out and or the unit's bad. The unit bad, it being bad and not receiving it, I don't even consider that. So it's either the wires in between or it's the uh, antenna itself. If you go to own Lawrence units, if you go to pages and you go over to status and you have a little bar over there, you got one little bar and it's got numbers underneath it and it has no blue in it and it's just sitting there and it never has a bunch of bars out across the screen, then the antenna is bad. It's working, but it's not working. So that means the antenna is bad. But if the electricity bill has been paid, the wires are good, and you don't see any bars, then you have a bad antenna. Okay, I hope that helped you. Check the electricity. All right, we got another one from Tim in Oklahoma. It says it won't let me put in a waypoint when I press the button. Well, Tim, let me tell you what happens. If it says uh, no more storage or it just you just press the button and it won't let you put in a waypoint, well, that's the problem. There is no more storage. So like on your trails where you ran out of so many points and it started erasing it, well, unfortunately, these units with waypoints don't erase them. They leave them there. So if you tried to put a gallon and a half in a gallon bucket, it's going to spill out on the ground. And that's what happens. So you have to go in the unit and erase some waypoints in order to put some more in. That's what it's telling you. You need to clean out your trash bag so you can put some more trash in it. Okay, now let's see what we got over here for the next person here. Gerald. Okay. Gerald lives up in New York. Another fellow from New York. And he says... Uh, my screen, when I turn my GPS unit on, uh, my, uh, I'm never where I was, never where I am. It's always at the lake that I left last time or it's someplace else, but it's not in my front yard and that's where my boat is. Well, Gerald, let me tell you what's wrong. Your antenna's not responding. Wherever you were last, when the unit boots up, it automatically goes to where it was when the lights went out. That's kind of what happened. The lights went out uh, on the unit. In other words, it lost its uh, signal. And it is where it, it remains where it was when it lost the signal. So you need to go back, check the status, go back over here and see what's wrong and see if your antenna is working. If it is working, then it'll be just a minute because your antenna evidently is not working real well. You might see about getting an update. Uh, if it's Lawrence, you can get one of those off of the uh, website and uh, update your antenna because it, if it's working really slow, you might need another update. Well, that closes it out for this mailbag. Write your questions and answers to itainttv.com where you can email me or send them to 11 Arcade, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219. Until next time, this is Professor. Do your homework, catch a lot of fish. See you in the lake.